Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. And this is going to be an update on my gaming room. Last time I had a gaming setup video was back when I got my original Xbox in 2016. So obviously it's going to be so much more updated. I do not want to pan at the ground because it is a mess. Or, or look at the ground, whatever you want to call it. It's a total mess. I mean, just look at all those cords over there. You can kind of see the mess already, but... Yeah, it's this, this room has been updated so much since the last video, and it's going to be updated drastically in the next month. So, yeah. Or hopefully the next month. Let us get started. Right here is my Xbox One. It's got two terabyte hard drive here. It's Kinect sensor right here. Got an extra battery pack. I got it. The cord of my charging play kit, the first one broke, so I have an extra battery pack because of that. Here's some a rock band guitar, Guitar Hero Live guitar, and old PS2 rock Guitar Hero 2 guitar. There's my Xbox 360. Right there. It's Kinect sensors on the ground, so I can't really show you that. <laughs> I mean, trust me, when I tell you the next the the new setup is going to be much, much better. It will be so much better than this. I mean, look at this. Mess, right? Just a mess of cords. The original PlayStation right there. 360 power brick. Original Xbox controller. The clock that you always see in my New Year videos. And an old phone that I never use anymore. Because, I mean, look at that screen, right? So, yeah. Is that... Here we have the PlayStation 2, set on top of the original Xbox, and right in front of that are some of my handhelds. So that would be the PS Vita, the PSP, the Nintendo DS, right here we have the uh, adapter for the PlayStation 2 Guitar Hero Guitar, it's a PS2 controller and some memory cards on top. A lot of things going on right here though. <laughs> So right here is a Guitar Hero Live strap. This is, I'll go into this in a second. Uh, the Nintendo DS, we have Guitar Hero, I think it's On Tour. World Tour, On Tour. That beeping is a dehumidifier, by the way. Don't worry about that, if you hear it on the camera. Uh, here's the PlayStation 3. Yes, yeah, so all my consoles have been moved over to this side of the room. And previously, they were all, like, Xbox 360 and PS3 were on that side of the room, which we'll cover in a sec. So, yeah, it was, it's much better now on this side. I always forget this is even my setup. And here I am mentioning it. The Raspberry Pi. That emulates NES, Super NES, 32X, and PlayStation 1. But it can emulate much more like the N64 and stuff. So yeah, there's a lot of junk here, a rock for my fifth grade teacher, as you can see here, like, it's stupid, but <laughs> that's, a, that's a rock. Uh, yeah, I also got some tape recorders, there's two of them right here, we'll link those two, let's see. Right here is my PS4, with its two terabyte hard drive right there, the PSVR, and it's motion control and stuff, so the only reason why I have this is because... When I got this, and I asked for the charger display station that it's on, they gave me this. And I quickly realized those ports are PS3 ports. And I do plan on getting PS Move for my PS3 in the future, but yeah. There's the camera and the PS Move controllers that came with it. The VR, that is. And that's the PS4. Some other consoles I do have in this drawer right here. As you can see... There's an Xbox. These are basically backup consoles. These are consoles that I didn't buy myself. These are either my uncle's consoles or whatever. There's an old PS2. I think the PS2 is actually, actually is mine. But, yes, we had like five PS2s back in the day. We had an old fat model and two slims. Underneath the PS2, you can kind of barely see it. But if I move it, is a GameCube. There's a Star Wars Xbox 360. Everyone loves that. I'm keeping it for myself, though. No giveaways. Ha. Huh? An old 360 power brick. 
Yeah, that's all that for that drawer. This drawer just has old PC parts, another old phone, Verizon phone, whatever. It's whatever. Old stuff from school, you know, you got a big agenda. God, we had big agendas back in the day. Fifth grade thing, a hip chip, you know, gift cards for Xbox I've already used. A nasty USB cable. Look at that nasty thing, ew. Here's some of my games are located here, but not all, as you've already seen it in the beginning of the video. Yeah, some of my games are here. And just beneath that is where all my PSP games are. But oh, yeah, you can see a mess, but here's where my three Xbox One power brick is. That is an old record player right there. PSVR thing McJigger that comes with it. I don't know why you need this for a VR, but okay. And now we have the powerhouse machine. You know, it's it's my gaming PC. This is the monitor. This is the PC itself, which has a floppy drive and a CD-ROM, both external. It's got some stuff back here. <laughs> As you can see, I didn't clean up much, but um, yeah. So pretend you didn't see that. So two speakers, headset, you know, it's whatever. Here, the keys, the keyboard and mouse. It's wireless. You can see the receiver, the Logitech receiver, right there. This is where all my games, most of my games are, in fact. And for the computer itself. So in the guts of the computer, there's not, I don't know all my PC parts. By the way, this computer is built. I built this myself. This is not a thing I bought off Amazon. This is literally a computer I built myself. But as you can see, you can see the graphics card is the, I don't know all the specs of my computer. I kind of forget the day, I forgot the day I built it or day after I built it. But there is a graphics card right there. It is the GTX 1050 Ti, so obviously not as powerful as people who have like four 1080 Ti's, but it's whatever. But the main reason why I got this PC because of that, you can not really see it, but if you see that white thing in the middle of your screen, that is the Elgato HD60 Pro. I got my computer just because of that. It needs the specs of this PC, so I got it for that. Oh, reason. Man, I'm telling you, if you could probably use this thing in a weightlifting competition, get two of these, you could probably build some muscles off of this. This thing's that heavy. So, for the floppy drive, we have some of the floppies right there. These are floppies my grandpa's had since like the 90s and early 2000s. So, yeah. But I don't buy any more new ones at all. Because they're only like, what, two megabytes in size? For the CD player, we have some games. It's so whatever. Yeah. Right here, we have a bunch of unused cables. However, some of these will be used in the new setup. In this drawer right next to the main desktop PC, we have a little laptop. This family, my family is known for having mainly laptops. We never really build computers that much. So this is like the most powerful PC this family has ever witnessed, pretty much, or have ever seen. Something I forgot to show, these five cases right here, these white things, are memories of DVDs. So these are all like recordings my grandpa's made of me and my two brothers when we were little babies. I should also mention he's originally had them on VHS tapes. Duh. On the opposite side of the room, this is basically where some of my stuff currently lays, but lies, but I'll use them in the new setup. An old CRT, the old TV from previous setups. A VCR. Uh, pretend there's no fidget spinners there, that's an old meme, that's dead. This CRT only really inputs to coaxial cables, so we have to have this adapter looking thing to RCA to that. Beneath them, these drawers, you got some VHS tapes, an old DVD player, even though I have Xbox 360s, I can easily play those, and a whole load of board games that I'll pretty much never use. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, and there's also that crappy thing. Look at that. That joystick there. No good games on it. It's literally a console with a joystick built into it, and I don't like it. But it's there. See, I'm pretty sure that's everything. I should have mentioned that's the TV right there. That's the router. So that's everything. My phone alert lets me record to 10 minutes. So I need to end this recording now. I'll see you all later. Bye!